Hello everyone, uh, this is the last video in this this series of videos about Maze Magician 4.0.0. I'm glad to, uh, to finally be done in the wee hours of the morning here because it is getting hot and I just want to open my uh, my window to get some, some cool air in here while I still have a little bit of uh, evening air to get. So you'll notice that the inspector here when generating two-dimensional mazes is basically the same. The big difference is in, you don't have any thickness obviously in two dimensions, but you have this z-plane value, and that's kind of a recurring theme throughout uh, throughout the the inspector. You'll notice in the in the details, there's no wall details because you couldn't see if we generate this maze quickly. You wouldn't be able to see vines along the side of the walls uh, in two dimensions anyway, so you just have the details scattered throughout throughout the maze and they also have a specific Z plane that you place them on everything else is going to be the same even the saving and loading of settings is exactly the same so if we come out of two-dimensional view you can kind of see more what's going on here I've kind of cheated because I'm using planes instead of sprites and I've just rotated them to have the correct orientation but basically what you're doing is you're creating a layer that the player interacts with, with box colliders and the like. So they'll be running into these walls and be able to get these pickups, but be over top of the floor. You could even add another plane uh, slightly f closer to the camera. And what that would do would be to have something your player could walk underneath, for example. And as for the plazas, there isn't a Z plane setting. You actually just use this this height setting here. And you rotate, you rotate it along the x-axis so that if we look at the actual object that we've instantiated, it orients itself in the proper the proper direction. It's basically this is the exact same plaza that I used for 3D generation, just rotated on its side so that it uh, matches the the 2D the 2D orientation here. Pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, basically everything is the is the same as with 3D generation. The only difference is wrapping your head around setting up Z planes for player interaction. And other than that, I guess um, if you came here looking to generate two-dimensional mazes and hoping for a long-form explanation on it, I'm uh, I'm sorry to say I have to direct you to the other 30 minutes of video. And it explains everything about the, the generation process. And once you've gone through all that, you just apply the same thing to two dimensions and you're good to go. Like I said, Z planes and then making sure to orient your your plazas properly so that they, they line up where you want them to is the big thing here. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to use my contact form. Uh, the information for that will be around here somewhere. Shoot me some questions, shoot me some suggestions. I hope you're having the most fantastic of days, and I'm sure you'll hear from me <laughs> with uh, with an update sometime uh, sometime. But for now, have a have a good one.